Hello, welcome to my next episode of The Local Lens. I'm over here with Bill. He is Bill's power washing and painting. How you doing, everybody? <coughs> We're down at Rocky French Boulevard. It is kind of a crappy day. It's rainy, misty. Yeah. So he works out all the time. Right. Nothing stops you. 100 degree weather, rainy weather, doesn't matter. It gotta doesn't get matter. it. Gotta get the job done. What about winter? Winter, we just picked. The, we actually do a lot of power washing in winter. We just pick a warm day around 50 degrees. People want to get their house cleaned up for the holidays and stuff like that. So they give me a call and I say, I just, I can do it. I just got to pick a certain day when it's you now, when the weather's somewhere above 40, you know, 42, 43, somewhere around there. And then you, we can get stuff done. Do you have any limitations, like building size or anything? Not really. Do I mean, it all? this is a three-story building. I can do everything from the ground. Maybe a six-foot ladder just to reach the very top. Sometimes, like today, I'm I'm working against the wind today. So sometimes it's you know it's a little tough when you're working against the wind. But it is windy. Yeah. Because um, because the water's blowing. Yeah. Everywhere. I just did a big building on County Street there, Sashida Nuva Mundo. Oh, uh, yeah. The restaurant over there yeah. on County Street and the bakery. Um, we did, there's two apartment houses above that that we did. We ended up getting a 50 foot lift to do that one because they wanted the roofs treated, the slate roofs and everything like that. So uh, we got the, we got a lift to do that. We did that in two days, got the job done. Customer was happy. Of got the whole building were. done. How many guys you got working for you? I have uh, three guys, count myself, three guys right now, two guys that do all the painting and I do all the power washing. So your painting is exterior? Exterior and interior, but we usually don't do interior until the winter time. We're just too busy in the summer and playing the weather with all the rain and stuff that we have to get our outside work done. So it's a little difficult to try to go and do inside stuff. We're working inside right now at, in Middleborough at, at um, Ocean Spray. We're doing painting some locker rooms oh, over there yeah. to, um, because they're on their break. So they asked us to get them over there and get it done. So we're in there, but that's just kind of a special thing because they're a big client and whatnot. How, how, what is your radius? How far will you go? Pretty much anywhere in Bristol County. You know what I mean? We, I, I mean, I've gone almost all the way to Boston before for the right job. And, you know, the, honestly, the right, I'm not going to lie, they're honestly the right amount of money. Yeah, it was a big job. Sure. I was referred. Gotta be were, worth your while. Right. And they were like, come out, you want to come out here for the day? You were highly recommended. So I do. But mostly it's, you know, Matter Boys at Fairhaven, Dartmouth, yeah. Rochester, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. New Bedford, you know, a lot of jobs in New Bedford. Yeah. Um, lot in Fairhaven, lot in Rochester. Um, and honestly, all my advertisement is only uh, Facebook and word of mouth. I put all my jobs usually before and afters up on Facebook. And if I can, I tag my clients if they allow, you know, want to be become friends on Facebook and I tag them sure. so then their friends see it, stuff like that. Your I do it. Are powerful. Yeah. Powerful. Yeah. You do a good job. And people refer you. The business yeah. just magically comes. And I've been at this for eight years now. So I have a lot of repeat customers that I do like every two years. Yeah. Some customers every year. You know what I mean? That some want their very particular how they keep their house and stuff. So, uh. Preventative yeah. maintenance. Yeah. And like I said, a lot of repeat customers now that I've been doing this for so long. So, uh, that's what keeps the business going. I average probably. 150 power washing jobs over the summer. Wow. So wow. I go really all out during the summer. Wow. And then in the winter time, we're gutter cleaning. We do that stuff too. Oh, okay. Yeah, we do gutter cleaning. Um, like I said, we do interior painting. Um, we do power wash in the, in the winter. We just have to pick the right day because some customers want it. They want, got family coming from out of town for the holidays, like I said yeah. before. Like, oh, my house don't look good. I want I want it looking good for the family, you know? So sure. that's what we do. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Well, this was awesome. I'm going to uh, watch you do your thing. We've got a couple of videos we're going to post. And call this guy if you need power washing or painting. And painting. Thank you very much for your time, peeps. Have a great day. Be safe. Have a good day. As you can see, I can reach three stores from the ground. Get a good see what's coming off the building here. Years and years of dirt and grime. Mildew. All that is, that's a powerful line. All soft wash. No high pressure. Yeah, that, is, that ain't happening with that starter tubes. No. But like I said, it's not high pressure on the building. 
so I'm not hurting the vinyl siding. It's all soft wash. Chemical mixed with water. Let the chemical do the work and then rinse it off. Gets all the windows and screens nice and clean. It rinses streak free on the windows and everything. And like I said, at the same time, you get all the screens nice and clean too. But you do have a lift for the like a really high building. Yeah, so that's about your max. One of those videos. Three stories is your max. Yes. Yeah, without the much, lift. Yeah, pretty much. Gotcha. Um, the video, one of the videos you posted, I sent you was that Cafe Nuevo Mundo over there on County Street. We did use a 50 foot lift on that job. Yeah. And that was also because they wanted to treat the slate roofs also. So that was part of the reason we needed the lift. Because that's also a soft wash. Because you got to treat the roof and then let the chemical do the work. Right. And then Mother Nature does the rest. The rain, the wind, all that just comes clean every time it rains. You know, especially with a slate roof, you got to be careful. You can't put too, uh, too much pressure on a slate roof. Right, right. Alright, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show a little video of you and the lift. And this was awesome. Thanks again, Bill. Thank you very much, Katrina. Have a great day. Love you. Have a good one. That wraps up another episode of The Local Lens. Thank you for taking the time to learn about these incredible individuals who are shaping the local landscape. Be sure to help these businesses thrive by shopping local and leave a review by clicking on the link below the interview. If you enjoyed the conversation today, it would mean a great deal to us to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the show to get notified of new episodes. And if you know of any businesses that might want to be featured, please share this video. I'm Katrina Carmel, and I'm a local realtor. If you are looking for someone to guide you with your real estate needs, I would be happy to help. May your days be filled with sunshine and your dreams take flight. Signing off, good vibes.